Hello. Ooh, oh. That's what Evil Cat evolves into? Did he just flash me his pussy? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, we have a lot to do. This is gonna be a very busy episode because there is a gathering event happening right now is the best way I've come up with terming it. All of the seasonal monthly events are happening all at the same time. So Salaryman, Koi, Maiden, Doll Cats, Evil Cat, and Adult Cat, both base form and true form are up for grabs. And I wanna get all of them. That's gonna be my goal for this episode. I don't really know if it's possible. I don't know if I have enough energy or expertise or treasure radars to do it all, but I don't really want to wait six months to get all of these cats. I think I already have some of the base forms, because the last episode we did Maiden and her true form. And, uh, you know, unlocking the true form was an exciting level, but unlocking the base form was kind of boring. It's just a little bit grindy, and I feel like that's going to be the case for all of them. So I went ahead and unlocked Adult Cat, Doll Cats, and Koi Cat. Which means we still need Salary Man and Evil Cat. So we would have eight cats to unlock today? Seems doable. How about we start things off strong by going for Koi Cat's Awakened form in Carp Adium. Come on, Battle Cats. It's too early in the morning to be listening to your puns. Also, I'm not gonna be using a treasure radar right off the bat. I wanna try the expert stage and then try the insane stage. And if I get my ass handed to me, which is highly likely, then I'll come back with a treasure radar. But I've always skipped the insane stage either because I'm lucky and get it in expert or I use a radar and I'm really curious what it's gonna be like this expert stage is kind of underwhelming so far just a bunch of chubby seals okay well, you know what I brought an apple for you mr. chubby seal so you can go and eat that and uh, we still got Kessages though I think he's gonna be in my loadout forever because he's so freaking useful I have him up to level 27 now I think so yeah, he's gonna tear through all of this quite quickly. I would imagine they're gonna send out their boss soon. Oh, there, what? <laughs> what is that? That's what I'm unlocking. What a weird cat. How does Koi evolve? Uh, don't ask questions with battle cats. Just, just never ask. Looks like he's single target, so he hasn't reached Bahamut or Black Cat yet. I'm trying to save up enough to send out Valkyrie, but it's not really working out for me. Fire does it got gun in? There we go. Just hold him back a little bit. There we go, Valkyrie, get in there. We need your all-around dope freeze. Yeah, good hit, good hit. That stupid head is in the way, though. I would really like to get through so that we can hit the true form. I think Bahamut might still be hitting it. I never know. Bahamut's spirit bomb is very deceiving. It's hard to tell exactly where it's landing. Okay, the head's down. Now get rid of the stupid hyena and we'll be good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, finally. That took quite a long time. I'm probably not gonna show the five minutes that I was hitting that, but it wasn't making any progress. That's the important thing. As long as I keep it at parity and wait, then I'm surely gonna win. And this is why I love Black Hat. Again, it's not a red unit, it's not an alien, so she doesn't have, like, a type advantage over it, but her range makes it so that she never takes damage. <laughs> so, even when Bahamut dies, she can just sit back there and lay the smack down. So now we just have to get through this one stupid hyena, and then we'll be good to go. That was a boss, right? They wouldn't send out, like, a herd of those things, would they? Battle Cats, would you do that to me? Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. A little bit worried there for a second. So we got some experience, we did not unlock the cat. Who would have guessed that that three to five percent wouldn't come up my way? We do, however, have the insane stage unlocked, so I'm pretty sure that this is a guarantee. I should really check first if I'm gonna commit 150 energy to potentially losing. Yeah, guaranteed chance to unlock Koi Cat's true form. I like that that doesn't tell you what it's named because it is a weird, weird cat. But I think my loadout is fine. I'm liking what I'm swinging. I just need to hope that I'm prepared. Mr. Elephant, what you doing? I don't even think he came out of the base. I think he's just been hanging out here waiting for me. Got some rabbits coming. That is a terrifying looking base. Okay, well, not a whole lot going on. We can uh, send out our main hunter. I love seeing him blow stuff up. It just feels so good. 
Oh no, kangaroos, go away. You see, I don't want to send out too much because I don't want to push up to the base. Even though last time, it came out on its own, didn't it? We didn't touch the base. So maybe I should just start building up stuff right now and not worry about it. Hello, are there any true forms home? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a quick one this time. And yeah, he's got a big area of attack. I don't like that. Okay, far as a cat cannon, kills the little men. And then hopefully protect, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, we're just gonna have to be hard on the meat shielding plan. That's the only way that this is gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to brute force this in the slightest. So can we get a little bit of everything out there? Apple Cat's not really doing work this time. Protect Bahamut at all costs. Don't let them hit Bahamut. That's a thing I don't want to let them do. Oh, come on, guys. Meat shielding is crap. We don't have them synced up either. They're hitting one at a time, so Valkyrie just gets evaporated. There's so freaking many of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do this. There's no freaking way. Oh yeah, I probably need like true form tanks and stuff like that. True form dragon and Paris at a higher level. Oh God, it hurts so much. You know what? I don't even regret my decision. I'm happy that we got to take a look at an insane true form stage, but it turns out when they say insane, they they mean insane. I'm not ready. So let's just head back to the expert, turn on a treasure radar. We're gonna have that silly looking cat in no time. In retrospect, I might have been able to beat the insane stage if I took it a little bit more seriously. Like I summoned the boss hitting the base way earlier because I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out or not on its own like this one does. If I had waited and had Bahamut stacked up and a couple other things, I think I could have gotten through it, but I don't really wanna waste the entire episode on one true form. I'd rather get as many as possible for you guys today while we can and not have to wait many months. So we're just gonna have to continue to mow down this guy. Will you please die? God, he just does not want to go down and Valkyrie rarely gets a hit in. Valkyrie tends to just kind of slowly meander up and ooh, ooh, there we go, yeah, and then get whacked. And then she's kind of whack locked and dead. This is not good. How did I beat this so easily last time? Wait, this is where Kazuchizo is really gonna shine because there is no way I can get any other damage dealing cat out there. I have to meet shield as much as possible or they're gonna get to my base, but I can sneak one of him in every now and then and he gets a couple of shots off and they're AOE and they do quite a bit of damage, so if he could just keep doing that, then maybe I will pull ahead and win. Ooh, you can suck on that, you giant freak of a cat. <laughs> that I will love and cherish forever. Thank you very much for joining my cat army. The only issue I have with this episode is that I need level 20 to unlock their true forms and evolve them. And that's a lot of experience. Like, I don't think I'm going to have enough experience to level them all up today, even if I unlock all of them. So I might pick one that I like the most. And if we have enough experience, I'll evolve that one. But at the very least, they'll be waiting for us. So I've already used up 450 energy, which means I don't have a lot left, but I've planned ahead. I made sure that I would be on the last level of ritual happiness. So if we beat this level, not only are we guaranteed to get Evil Cat, but we're also guaranteed to get all of our energy back. The only issue being, I have one chance at it. So let's hope that my lineup is still good. I have anti-black, I have anti-alien, uh, anti-red, uh, I don't really have anti-makeup sloth. Actually, you know, Valkyrie is probably technically anti-makeup sloth, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna feather crazed cats just to make it so that they're both, oh my God, there's more of them. I wanted them to all be aligned so that when they attack, they don't, oh crap, so they don't all attack the same thing. Uh, this, this is an issue. This is a serious issue. Okay, Bahamut, we're gonna rely on you to take down all those moths, and then I, I guess it's go time. Gonna have to get Paris out there soon as well. Fire to the cat cannon. Oh my God, they're all lumped up. This isn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> they're gonna melt my front line. Hopefully Bahamut can kill those mobs in one hit. If he could do that, we can send out everything. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we're knocking them back. We got them at parity. That's the biggest thing is that they're demolishing my meat shield, but they're not reaching Bahamut. 
So as long as Bahamut can be happy and safe and drop his dragony spirit bombs, then that's all that matters. Right, there you go. Here comes one right now. Good boy, did lots of damage. <laughs> I don't know why I treat him like a dog when he's technically a cat, but so far so good. I don't remember if we face off against the base forms in this. I think for these, you just unlock them, right? It's, you face off against the true forms, you face off against the crazed cats, but I don't know if Evil Cat is gonna show up. I think these are technically the boss. We're gonna find out sooner than later. They gotta die eventually. These things are just so freaking tanky. Multiple Bahamut, and a long time later, he's finally dead. There we go, okay. <laughs> I was starting to get worried that we were just gonna keep pushing them back and pushing them back until until we hit the base and then everything goes awry. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> Why is there a red bun bun? Okay, come on, Apple Cat, you can do it. It's a big, oh no, it's a big time to shine, bud, come on. We do have two Bahamuts out there, so I am very well prepared for this. I just need to get more apples out there. Okay, good pushback. Oh, we have two black cats out there as well. So they're doing a ton of damage to red units. Far as the cat cannon, uh, now might not have been the time. I always do that to make Bahamut miss. Oh, Bun Bun's dead. That took like a fifth of the time these stupid sloths take. Either kill them or push them back far enough to destroy the base. That's all I really want. This is exactly what I expected to happen. I called it because they do not want to freaking die. There we go. We got there and I got him. Oh wait, it's guaranteed. Why am I excited? Okay, we got him anyway. That's great. So we got rare evil cat, right? And uh, we can unlock him. Energy recovered, got some cat food. Sweet, so now I should probably unlock him before I go for his true form just to make sure I don't botch it. So what exactly is Evil Cat again? Okay. Ooh, we're gonna take a look at all of them at the end, but uh, that's an interesting cat. I think it's only fitting that we go for Evil Cat Awakes, and this time, I'm just gonna use a treasure radar. I have like 19 of them. I have way more radars than I do energy if I wanna get this done in this episode. So let's try something wicked. Expert, okay, it's not a pun, so we're already off to a good start. I feel like that's almost as good as starting off with Rich Cat, just the fact that we're punless. Anything, okay. I do think that we're gonna see black here because evil, right? That seems kind of in flavor. So I've brought one extra anti-black cat and switched out Apple. Whether or not that's a mistake, we will find out soon. Hello, Mr. Evil Cat, is anybody home? Hello, ooh, oh. That's what Evil Cat evolves into? Did he just flash me his pussy? Okay, you know what? I expected black units. I did not expect a flasher cat. That is amazing. I, I definitely want, oh my God, it stuns like freaking everything. Oh my, it's so good. I like that it's a basic cat sitting on top of a wall cat by the looks of it. And then they just got a trench coat and decided, you know what, we're gonna be a true form because we're cool like that. Don't even worry about it. Stop freezing all of my stuff. All of my stuff is dead. This is actually really difficult. Just di die, go war god, yes. Kill the black units, you got this. Uh, oh, it keeps bouncing. <laughs> Stop flashing me your junk and bouncing around and just die. Bahamut, I don't suppose that you can just nuke him for me. Oh, there you go. You just need to ask politely. I don't even know if it was the nuke that did it, honestly. <laughs> I feel like he might have been out of range, but I'll take it. That is the true form that I want. Just gonna say it right now. Koi, it was cool, kind of, it was weird. I want the flasher cat, or indecent cat. What do you think it's gonna be called? I, I honestly have no idea. These bases also have a crap load of health, like half a million. What? Treasure radar, do your thing? Yeah, okay, it still doesn't tell me, but we got it. Hopefully I have enough experience. How about we keep the PG-13 theme going with Adult Cat Awakes in Growing Up. So we're gonna turn on our treasure radar and just pray because I think I 
barely have enough energy to do everything this episode. I might be able to get it done. I'm also worried about time because I've been recording for an hour and a half. I get the feeling I'm going to be segmenting a lot of these battles just to show you guys the highlights because they last for like 15 minutes each. Okay, little black doggo. I'm pretty sure Kesuchizo can deal with you easily enough. There we go. You guys got anything else for us? I don't want to send out too much because they're just gonna waltz in and ruin everything. Okay, well, batten down the hatches because something's coming. I'll send out Bahamut after the boss comes out. There we go. Oh, crap. Whoa. What the? Wait, I haven't even seen adult cat, have I? I was gonna say, I don't know why it's a prisoner now. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, uh, metal. I don't like metal units. This this might be a problem. The reindeer is also kind of a problem because they're just gonna bounce around and never freaking die. Uh, okay, I really wish I had saved up a little bit more money and I wasn't level four, but we might be able to make this work. Okay, no, screw me, Bahamut's dead. Wait a minute, what is it? His attack is throwing a shovel really far. <laughs> Who throws a shovel? All right, no, we're not doing too bad. Even with Bahamut dead, I still can just feather out Kasajizo and do some damage. So, oh, more metal cats. You see, they're the issue because they don't die very easily and they just tank so freaking well. I don't have anti-metal in my regular loadout and that is a problem. Okay, well, oh, stop sending more stuff at me. Little help, Valkyrie, little help because there's a duck coming. Not a big fan of ducks. If you could maybe kill one of those reindeer, that'd be dope. Okay, good freeze. I really just want to get uh, a long range damage dealer out there. I'd love to get a Bahamut or a black hat or something like that. Froze the duck, okay, and you're dead. Uh huh. Bahamut, this is all on you. You're the last Bahamut that I can summon. You're all I've got going for me right now. If, if you could maybe not get hit by that super long range shovel throw, that'd be great. Blow up a reindeer, blow, blow up a duck. Okay, blowing up a duck is a good start. <laughs> My giant dragon cat blew up a duck. What did you guys do today? Probably not something as awesome as that. My giant dragon is dead to the reindeer. This is intense. We have been going back and forth, trading blow for blow for a very long time now. Fire's a cat cannon. And uh, again, these reindeers still have yet to die. These are the same ones from the very beginning. They have not summoned any more. <laughs> they just keep getting hit back. I hate them so much. Yes, Valkyrie, please just delay. Just uh, okay. Oh, okay. We got a whole bunch of knockbacks there. I'm, I just, I can't get anything out because I'm not killing enough stuff. I can't kill enough stuff because I'm not getting anything out. <laughs> Thank God for Kazajizo. The fact that he costs 750 is a godsend. He's so freaking useful at times like these. This is twice this episode that he's bailed me out or kept me in it. Let's not go and claim that he's bailed me out just yet. These reindeer just do not want to die. Oh. Oh, the reindeer are dead. Oh, we did it. Oh, thank God. Okay, now I'm feeling quite a bit more confident. Ooh, yeah, because this guy could just stay frozen forever, right? We have multiple Valkyries out there and his attack isn't like unreal. It's a really strange attack because he doesn't hit stuff in the very front. He hits stuff kind of behind the meat shields, which is good because that means that I can't really meat shield against him, right? Like it's a very useful attack but it's not gonna be very useful for long because hopefully all these Valkyries are invincible and in his blind spot. <laughs> so once again, don't go sending out any crazy stuff. I, I think I'm happy where I am. That was, a, that was a fun level. That was a challenge, a battle for the ages, but I'll just take my reward now, thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. Another 1500 experience and adult cat's true form acquired. I really need to find out what all of their names are because I'm, I'm incredibly curious. I might want to evolve all of them to see their second form as well. Uh, it's, I don't have enough experience to do everything today, it sucks. So we still need to unlock Dollcat's true form as well as Salaryman's base form and true form. And I don't think there's gonna be enough time in this episode to do all of it. So I might need to abandon Salaryman for now. I mean, he'll be back. It'll be up for grabs eventually in some month, but right now, I think we're gonna go for Doll Cat's true form in Dolled Up. And I'm gonna remember to put on a treasure raider, and off we go. 
I am incredibly curious what a group of dolls will evolve into because they're already kind of creepy looking. So do you guys have any black or metal? Because I switched my loadout again. I brought iCat because I felt like War God wasn't really pulling his weight last time. He's, he's unreal anti-black cat. Don't get me wrong, like S tier anti-black, but any other time he's just kind of meh. Not seeing any black or red, just a whole bunch of dead elephants. Oh. <laughs> what? He falls into a genie. Oh, a shockwave genie. Oh yeah, I really, really, really want you. That is the coolest cat we've seen yet. Oh, it's, it actually really hurts too. Oh crap, crap. Oh, first you get cannon at it, kill the genie. There are red units though, so bringing iCat wasn't a bad call, but it's just this freaking genie is evaporating everything on my side. Oh, this is not good, not good. What do we do? We fall back on Kazajizo and meat shield. <laughs> it just blew up everything instantly. Oh my God, that is, that is such a random cat. Why do I still say that in Battle Cats? Everything is random here. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. They're moving up really quickly because I cannot meet shield here. It's just worthless. Nothing works because of those freaking shock waves. Oh crap, They're, I'm not gonna stop this even a little bit. <laughs> I would be amazed if something changes in the next few seconds and they stop moving forward. Stupid little, oh, it's like a little Aladdin and a genie on the magic carpet. <laughs> I didn't even see Aladdin at first. Oh man, I really want you. You're such a cool cat, please be mine. I would like you way more than Koi. No, don't hurt me. No, 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 you, you don't want that. You don't want to hurt me. Please stop, ah, crap. <laughs> There's no way I could beat that. Like I had everything out before it came out. Is there any cat that I have that'd be useful? Like you guys are always telling me that I need anti-shockwave cats. I don't have any, I've never even heard of them. And he was at 77%, like that wasn't even close. So we have adult cat. This cat reached legal age and started to drink. Don't mind the ropes. That's kind of kinky. Considering he chokes on a champagne bottle and then throws it like a grenade, I like it. He evolved into sick cat. This cat drank a little too much, everything in moderation. Did he just have a kidney or liver transplant? His attack is just him sweating. Oh, okay, no, never mind. He throws his IV like a grenade. And then Prisoner Cat, after the 20th wine cooler, he had to be tied up for his own good. Somehow gained long distance attacks. Right, that was crazy long distance with the shovel. Weird. And we have Evil Cat, which hides his weakness by wearing the mask of the demon, who evolved into Gentleman Cat, a very well-clothed cat until, just call the police. So do you? I see, so when you flash, you're just one tall cat. And then when you evolve, you're Gentleman Bros. A gentleman's agreement makes life easier for everyone, but whoever's on bottom has it worse. So this is when <laughs> it's two cats. <laughs> makes total sense. We have doll cats who I didn't manage to evolve. Cats that have dressed up as dolls. Don't have much health, but shoots laser beams to take down many foes. What? Oh, laser beams. And that becomes a shockwave. Damn, I really wish I got you. And Koi Cat, distant relative of Fish Cat, a good long distance attacker, and then you evolve into Gross Koi Cat. Koi Cat and Gross Cat's distant cousin, still wondering if it's Gross or Koi. And then your true form was even grosser and Koi-er, but I don't have enough experience for that. Okay, overall, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cats over the past couple episodes? Productive, but I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And it's like I said, I got to this so soon because of the timed events, but I don't want people to think that I'm making Battle Cats like every other day all of a sudden. I space out all of the series on the channel by pretty much a week, and I didn't want to wait a week and miss out on all of this. So that's why this video is a little bit early this time around. I will be returning to Battle Cats. There will always be more because there will always be more cats to collect. I'm just not gonna become a Battle Cats channel. You guys are gonna have to wait a little bit. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.